Welcome back YouTubers and thank you for watching another watch review by Todd's Watch Shop. Today I have uh, sort of just a short video. This is just going to be a quick review. It's not anything um, so spectacular but I am going to be reviewing uh, an older Luminox. Uh, this is a Series 2 model 3H MBM. So this watch actually came to me from a co-worker and friend um, he knew that I worked on watches and of course, you know, I got suckered into, uh, fixing it. So this watch that I got from him, uh, it wasn't working. It wasn't much, quite honestly. I just did a cleaning. I replaced all the O-ring gaskets. There's a gasket on the case back, screw back case. We'll get into that. And there's an O-ring on the crown. I also packed the crown shaft, uh, with, with grease. The, uh, Seiko silicone grease. I highly recommend this stuff. It's not a paid promotion. There's some cheaper ones that you can get out here, but this stuff is excellent. It's it's absolutely perfect. And you definitely want to use it. Um, add this to your greasing pad. If you don't have these, it's foam. You add a little bit of, of this grease to it, and then you can take your O-rings. You just put them in, spin it around, and it's ready to go. Um, but I'm getting off track. This, uh, this watch is actually a very nice watch. I, I wanted to, uh, you know, let me just change the time so that you can actually see the logo. Um, I got this watch. He said it wasn't working. Uh, he said a watch shop hadn't been able to fix it. I'm not sure why. All I did was change the battery, quite honestly. But um, it's a it's a very nice watch. This watch was made about a decade ago. I think that's when they released it. It's the Series 200. They have several different versions of these. There's a Navy SEALs version and a couple other different ones that have different trim rings and stuff. But it's a pretty common uh, common model from the time. They retailed for about $495 back then, um, about a decade ago. So that puts it at sort of a $700 watch today. I've already opened it up because you can see it's it's running. Uh, and I won't go into it uh, too much, but uh, it uses a, a Ronda 715 mo uh, movement, which uh, incidentally is actually the same movement that was in this watch, which I just reviewed yesterday. And uh, as my favorite watch reviewer in Miami says, customary watch check. This is my Victorinox Inox, <laughs> but it also has the 715 Ronda movement in it, um, which is a very nice movement. That's a five jewel rebuildable quartz movement made by Ronda, Swiss made. So the movement is actually uh, gold coated. I'll put up a picture so you can see it with just some quick details um, that you can go through. And those should be popping up right now while I'm rambling. Either way, this watch is very nice. It's a hundred meter. Um, it's a hundred meter dive depth, you know, like I ramble on about all the time. That's the length of a football field. Um, perfect for snorkeling and pretty much day to day stuff. It is a CNC case, uh, CNC back. Um, all I did was grease, grease it and replace the O-ring gasket. I have plenty of those. You can buy them in big packs. Let me see if I can find them. You can get these on eBay. They work quite well. You get them in packs like this. They sell them in different uh, um, thicknesses. This is a 0.7, which is pretty standard for smaller, more delicate watches. They have the 0.5 millimeter. Works great. Uh, and of course, the grease, which I got up here. Um, this watch is, the uh, strap is not original. He said that he had replaced it a while back, and this is the second or third one on here. Um, it is not a sapphire crystal. You can actually see there's there should not, there's, there's no, there's very little color, um, reflection on here compared to some of the others that, that I see. I don't know if it comes, comes through quite well in the video, but, uh, I, I do not believe this is Sapphire. It has, it has scratches on it. If it was, it was probably, uh, layered like the Vengers. Um, if you look really closely, you can see it says T Swiss made, uh, it'll, it'll say T Swiss made T. Now, for a lot of you guys that don't know that, the T means tritium. Now, there's some others, um, and I can't remember, unfortunately, but there's some others that, there's another watch that I had that actually had some version of another unstable element that was radioactive. Um, and <laughs> I opened it up, um, but it has it has different lettering on, on the end, or it's just one letter, I, I can't remember, but I can try and find that. But um, the T stands for tritium. Unfortunately, the loom doesn't work very well. I'll show that right now so you can get a, a glimpse of it. But it, 
it really doesn't hold at all. Which I was kind of surprised. The only thing that it does seem to hold is the pip at the top of the bezel. So you can see it fades out almost immediately. If It's as if it didn't even have any. But the pip is still completely visible. Um, still very nice watch. And he certainly liked the watch. And I figured I'd take the opportunity, since I had it here, to do a quick video. I mean, this video will probably be less than 10 minutes. My normal ones are 15. Um, I wanted to take the opportunity because last week I also fixed another watch for a friend. It was a Yonkers, a very nice watch, actually. Um, and I was trying to figure out what kind of ETA was in it. I'm sorry, what kind of movement was in it, whether or not it was an ETA or a Seiko. Um, it felt like a Seiko, but uh, either way. Um, uh, not much else to say about this. It's nice. The bezel, it, it's, uh, numerous clicks. It's pretty accurate, but it does, it does move. It's probably just because of the age. Not necessarily a, uh perfect representation of what you get. Most of the watches I like to review are either brand new or have uh, very limited use. Still, very nice watch. It's a, it's a Luminox uh, Swiss watch. Very nice. Again, um, this is uh, the Series 200, model number 3H MBM. Um, but please check out my other, my other videos. If you like this, click uh, like or and subscribe and leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like me to review and I will try to, to review some of the other watches that I've had. Thank you very much.